Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retag and in today's video, let's take a look at how the secure folder on the Galaxy S8 works. While we might be using the S8 to showcase its features, this should be applicable for other Samsung phones like the S7 which have the same functionality. So without further ado, let's get to it. So first, what is secure folder? It's a kind of a phone inside a phone, that's how I look at it. Now, there are two ways you could use it. One, as a place where you keep your personal pictures, documents, videos, contacts, etc. That is the simple way of looking at it. Number two, keeping an entire second phone with dedicated social accounts and app instances. So let's start with how we set it up first. So go on to settings, lock screen and security. Secure folder. In here you need to sign in with your Samsung account. If you don't have one, you'd need to set one up. Now you get to select what security option to use. The S8 has support for three, a regular option, pattern in my case, fingerprints and irises. So now once done, you're at this screen. So now let's jump into the gallery, select some images that I'd wanna hide. Tap three dots and select move to secure folder. Done. Now these can only be seen from the secure folder. Now this is the simple way of doing things, using the secure folder just to hide sensitive information. Now another thing to do is hit that three dot key, select settings, accounts and set up entire new accounts for the secure folder part of your phone. So using this you could go to Google Play and download apps exclusive to the secure folder. So here let me show you how it works. On the regular side of the phone, see I'm signed into Facebook. Now let's go to the secure folder. Authenticate, add apps, select Facebook and now if you open Facebook, nothing. I could sign into it with an entirely different ID. So I can again do this for say mail or even for something as simple as just a game if I say have two different accounts I want a game from. Additionally, you can download apps here that aren't even present outside the secure folder. The possibilities are endless. But all this will be for naught if the notifications kept coming up, right? So again, you can tap the three dot key, go into notifications and display, and you get to choose if the notification should show up. Uh, you could even kill the caller ID if you want to. Other options include allowing clipboard actions between the regular part of the phone and the secure folder. Now, if you're like me and at times are even more paranoid, you could tap the three dot key, select customize icon, and you get to rename the secure folder and even change the icon to keep it hidden in plain sight. Additionally, you can actually hide it, set the phone to not show the icon at all. So that's it guys for this short video on one of Samsung's more interesting features. If you hated this video, vote it down, but if you did actually find it helpful, give it a thumbs up and for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. If you have already subscribed, click that bell icon to make sure you get notified each time a new video goes live here on C4 Retech. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this is Ash here from C4 Retech signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.